Before we leave, I thought I'd uh, quickly show you around the uh, fascia board job that we've been doing. Uh, so this is the uh, one of the gables. Um, what we've done on this one, we've we've it's a full replacement. So we've removed all the old timber fascias and soffits uh, and replaced for new. Um, we've also uh, capped off the uh, tile tile ends as well. Um, so it's got more sand and cement that's all falling out and falling everywhere. Cut them off nicely. This one's all raw wood. So this this part here, that's your finish here. These are your clover um, tile end covers, dry verge it's called system. Um, and you've got your, your soffit soffit underneath. So this is your soffit fascia board. Um, nice. Nice box end detail there. So these are your box ends. Um, so that's your gable box end. Ties up to your, your back of the house there. So this is the back the back run. So again, all new soffits, faces, uh, gutters. Uh, this one also has the um, bird bird guard. I don't know if you can see it there. So you've got these little bristles underneath just to stop the birds getting under that uh, that tile system. Obviously with a, a, a flat tile system you're okay, you don't need that, but just where this little uh, arch is you can get, get birds up there nesting. Make a right mess of uh, the inside of your roof. Easy way it all felt underneath and uh, just, just make a, a proper mess. Uh, yeah, no birds left in this one. Coming on in, luckily enough. Um, this is the plastic eaves, eaves guard, I think. We just call it a plastic felt. Um, just replaces any perished felt. So that first row of tiles. Uh, also, when the water runs runs down the tile, it's uh, it's the it's the it's the plastic felt runs into gutter and then it goes into uh, the outlet. We have. We have sealed the back of this one. We've just left the tops of the windows because this uh, this job's going to have all new um, PVC windows fitted uh, next week. So we don't want to be um, silicone at the top of them and then having to rip it all back out again. So that's the back of that. I'll take you to the other the other side. So we've got another gable on this side. Again, one nice, one nice full piece, no jointers, just under five metres in length this side. Uh, again, a nice box end detail. Sorry about the wind. Show you that. Nicely even spaced out nails. Um, so small little touches like that, obviously. Um, just make a big, a big difference when the customer is looking up. Luckily on this job we have a scaffolding up. Nice little feature. Coming back around to this side. So yeah, it's not been a bad job this one. Believe it or not, back uh, a long time ago we used to do these, uh, these types of jobs off uh, ladders and sorts of uh, setups but uh, luckily these days we, uh, we always get a nice scaffolding around the whole house. Uh, we've even got one we've even got one down there which was a bit of uh, a bit funny. We've got one down there so it was uh, hard around the scaffolding. You can see just up on here the scaffolding was right where we right where we do the box end details uh, which was fun. So we managed to get it done. Yes, it looks uh, looks really good. Does this one? Yeah, just thought sort of give you a quick uh, show what our faces and soffits look like. Uh, on the next one, what I'll probably do um, just to give you a bit more of an insight on the process of uh, replacing the faces and soffits is uh, I'll uh, do some videos from start to finish, work in progress, and uh, maybe see if I can give you some. Uh, Bit more of an insight and some uh, tips on uh, how to get these box ends looking uh, all beautiful like that, all nice. Alright, see you later.